Last night I listened to a college basketball player, Division I uh, college basketball player, talk about his schedule to a bunch of uh, kids. Uh, looked like it was a basketball training session and he rocked up to kind of give him some inspiration, give him a, kind of like a breakdown on what the next level is all about. And what he talked about was what I imagined professional basketball to be like. He talks about how he wakes up every single day at 7 a.m. He's got the first shoot around between 8 and 9. Uh, 9 to 12 is his actual basketball training session with the whole team, you know, scrimmaging and doing drills and whatever. Uh, between 1 and 3, he's got class, so he's got to go to class. And then between 3 and sounds like 6 o'clock, he's got conditioning, a shoot around, and some more conditioning after that, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, he gets home at 7 o'clock. So it's a 12-hour day. Uh, the reason why I found that interesting and the reason why I wanted to share with you guys is because, you know, we all pretend like we don't know what the next level is about. You know, we, we like, oh yeah, if I was at that level, I'll do that as well. I don't look at it like that. If you want to be on that level, you have to sustain that type of work ethic for an extended period of time. You don't just rock up and then start that training schedule. You have to have that training schedule to get to that level. <clears throat> and so when, when some of you guys are like, man, how can you train every single day? This is nothing. I am not a professional. If you knew what the professionals did, which I'm surprised a lot of you guys don't know because it's all out there. I mean, we live in the social media world where everything's freaking accessible. You can just look this up, what these guys are doing. If you really want to get shocked, look into, I mean, he's done videos about this. Look into Kobe Bryant, uh, what his schedule was. <laughs> there is absolutely no surprise in my mind why he was as good as he was. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. I can see it. It's all about the work. And so some of you guys have nine to fives like me. You know, I go to work, I go to family, I go to eat, I go to shower, I go to do all these sorts of things. School drop off, school pick up, have time <clears throat> so with the family over the weekend. That's it's all well and good, right? There is still time for you to get after it for freaking one hour a day. Um, this is kind of how I view it. I've always kind of yearned as a as a youngster that one day I'll be able to be a professional basketball player. I wanted to be in that schedule like that guy was talking about. I wanted to be busy 12 hours of the day working on my craft. What's the difference between me and him? What is the difference? Why can't I do this on my own? Nobody watching me, just me getting after it, me getting that fulfillment off doing work. Why can't I do that? Oh, there's no prospect of you getting paid. So you're doing this for money? I was never like that. I never did it for money. I just wanted to be the best in basketball. That was kind of how I viewed it. I loved the process. I loved working. I loved working. And when I go to work, like in a couple of hours, I have to go to the hospital and do a shift. When I go over there, like I don't feel that connection with just working that. So when I come back home and I want to work with something that I absolutely love, my passion, training, physical exertion, trying to get the body to adapt, to, a, to, a, to, a, to be stronger, to all of that. I love that. I could do 12 hours of that. I don't want to do 12 hours of something that I don't love. Nursing is all right, but I don't love it. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, why don't I do more of what I love? Why is it a chore for you to do something that you love? You don't love it, dude. Stop kidding yourself. You don't love it. You're there for the results. So you can get a 400 million kilo deadlift. So you can post it on Instagram. So you can get some chicks. Tell me that's not the case. Tell me that is not the case. Ask yourself, why are you doing this? Why are you posting your lifts on the internet? Is this so you can get, you know, as, as popular as The Rock and you can get, you know, star in movies. You can get every single chick that you want, drive a Ferrari. Is it because of that? Be honest with me, man. Be honest. Are you doing it for the results? Or are you doing it for the love of the journey and the passion and the and the emotional response that you get from working hard. I ask you, you, you don't have to tell me, you don't have to tell anyone in the comments. You can just ask yourself in your mind and have that little dialogue in your mind. Check yourself. See what you're doing things for. Are you with that girl that you're with right now because you really love her? Or she's got that fine ass and you just wanna do that. You know, She's hot and it gives you a bit more cred with your friends because she's hot, You know, she's like a trophy. Ask yourself, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Just whatever, man, I, I don't care. You don't have to say anything to me. Ask you some of these questions. What What are the drivers for your actions? Because to me, in my mind, I'm like, I'm doing this because I love it. I don't care. I started this squad everyday journey with like two blokes watching me. I was watching them, they were watching me. It was a cool thing and I loved it. I'm in this journey for reasons that most people don't understand. Where's the progress, man? Where's the progress, man? Where's the progress, man? Your shit, where's the progress, man? This is nonsense, where's the progress, man? I don't need that girl with the fine ass. I don't need that Ferrari. I don't need a $100 million contract. I'm happy. 
And it's a shock to a lot of you guys because you guys are like, why is he doing this? I don't understand why he's doing this. My God, why is he doing this? He's shit, why is he doing this? It's almost like a dimension that people can't even see why people do what they do. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm doing this for me. And the world as we know it is so disconnected with that level of thinking, with that level of feeling, doing things for the soul, doing things because they feel good. Not because it will get you a promotion, it will get you more money, it will get you that girl, it will get you that contract, that house. The people have completely disconnected from that spiritual, from that gut feeling, from that God, whatever you want to call it, completely disconnected. And every single time you turn on Instagram, every single time you, it's YouTube, it's some guy, big ass muscles, with a Lamborghini in the background and some chick draped over it. And everyone's like, oh, I want to be that guy. But that guy, as soon as that camera turns off, goes over there and grabs a handful of antidepressants, pop them in, do a couple of lines of cocaine just to function. But he's portraying this happiness. My friend, that is not happiness, man. I, I know. I've, I've seen people on their deathbeds. And if you've been around people on their deathbeds, 100% honesty, my friend. This is it. There's no point of lying. So when you ask them, you know, what would you take back? What is the most important thing in your life? The other day I heard a video. I think that summarizes really well. He's on a freaking private jet and some guys, you know, they're flying. Some guys are like, what would you define success as? The guy sits there for about five seconds thinking about it and he turns to him and he says, success to me is when you have kids, adult kids, when they've grown up and they still want to hang around with you. They still want to come back and chill with you. That to me is success. Now, I stopped the video and I, and I pondered uh, 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 on that for a little while. Think about what that means. Who knows you more? Who have you spent more time with? They know you on your bad days, on your good days, or every day in between. If you're a good guy, your kids will hang around with you. This dude is a billionaire. He didn't say, I got this yacht. He didn't say, I, I got this many women. He didn't say, I've got a private jet. He didn't say, I bought an island. He didn't say any of that. And guess, guess what? A lot of the guys that I deal with who are in the terminal phase of their illness, who are on their deathbed, who know that they're staring at the, 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 the last part of their life, no one ever brings up Ferrari or Cloud or how famous they were or if they were a Rhodes Scholar or if they went to Harvard or wh wherever the case might be. I never hear that crap, man. They, they usually brush past that stuff. Like, yeah, I was a successful thing, but my, my best thing is, man, my, my, my most prideful thing is, my kids, man, they're doing so well. They're still around me. My kids, one kid's in South America, one kid's in South Southeast Asia. One kid is in France. They're doing great. Oh, this one's, they all talk about their kids and their love. Think about that. Use people around you. We are not the only generation that has lived on this planet. There has been millions upon billions upon billions of people who have lived. Open your eyes. Listen to people. Talk to your grandparents. See what, what their summary is about life. Don't make the same shit mistakes that they've made and, they, and their parents and their parents and their parents. Learn. I'm blessed because I, this is my career. I'm rubbing my shoulders every single day with these people who are at the end of their life. Now, once I hear that money means not, it doesn't make you happy, why the, why the hell would I want to go around, spend 50 years chasing exactly what he chased and come to the same damn conclusion that he made? Why? Oh no, but this isn't talked about, you see, because that guy with big ass muscles and a Lamborghini and that chick with the G-string standing next to that Lamborghini, that's the dream. That's the dream. You know why? You know why? Because he's trying to sell you something. Oh, did I say that? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Did I, did I really say that? Yes, he's trying to sell you something. Big muscles, hot chick, hot car. And right at the bottom, there is a jar of protein powder. Buy that. Oh, let, let, me, let me take a scoop of that before I drive my Lamborghini with my hot blonde G-string chick. <laughs> oh my God. The reason why this hits a nerve in me is because the guys that buy this shit <clears throat> are the immature guys. That's not an insult to you. I was exactly where you were at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, probably up to 25. And then around 25, I started thinking, this guy's talking shit. And I was so disillusioned that I went, F your training programs, F your protein powders, F your pre-workouts, F your intra-workouts. B, C, A, A's, idiots. Screw all of that. 
let me get off this concrete path and head straight for the forest and work this shit out by myself. And guess what? I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Stay, stay clear of the rubbish. All they want is your dollar. Simple as that. And what I have to thank is my professional career, nursing career. Where you hear, you talk to guys who are taking their last breaths. These are the people that should be making videos. Guys who have, not these, but this is the trouble. The guys who are making the videos, the guy who the algorithm is pushing really hard. These guys are paying for the advertisements. They got money. They suck more people in. They get more money. They get paid more, more advertising. And voila, and voila. And then Joe, the 18 year old fella who is infatuated by that big muscles and the, and the, and the yellow car and that beautiful blue G string. Oh my God, I want some of that in my life. Because all my mates are going to be like, dude, you're the best, man. You're, you're the G, man. You're top G. You're the best. Wow, look at that Ferrari. I better listen to you because you have a Lamborghini. Why would you listen to some guy who is curled up in bed about to die? Listen to the guy with the muscles and the G-string. Chick. <laughs> yeah. The journey. The feeling. The spirit. Stop watching. Stop listening. Start feeling. And you will be in a better way. And stop thinking that you need that contract. That you need that team or whatever to start working hard i'm training i'm imagining myself that i'm professional i'm working on my craft and nobody gonna tell me anything i'm the boss i do whatever i want to do if kobe can work 14 hours a day so can i yeah okay eight hours of that a day is nursing but my god i will put in some extra work for the passion that i have appreciate you guys catch you in the next one peace out